The challenge that we have going forward in checking out who is who is that we all know that you officers like to sit behind that building. We also know that the community has made note of your immoral behavior of not continuing your job and following your route. But the truth is that your route is not going to be harming someone, but you choose on the job to harm someone. You choose to drove up on someone. We had an officer do this to him on campus and start shouting at him as if he was a child not able to decide when it was and wasn't safe to cross the road. We're not going to have this here. We have a city with ordinances that protect diversity. And let me explain something to you little girls in the men's suits that you wear. That you fucking think you're a man. Let me explain to you something that we do know about that gentleman that you keep pissing on in your mind, in the words you speak online, and what you say through our comms, and what you do when you're talking to your fellow boobs here, is that that gentleman has produced more in his life than any fucking one of you. That man has created so much content that if you keep fucking touching it, it's going to be found on you. Major corporations do not like local sheriff or local police officers to interfere with their rights to have safety online here. So while you thought you were clever when you started to interfere with his channel and you started to interfere with retail employees who had complaints to lodge, their complaints are not warranted according to the corporate presidents. You see, corporate presidents are concerned with their personal brand not at all Corporate presidents of companies like Staples and Dollar Tree and others are concerned with their public image and what can happen to them if heads roll, meaning a news report is lost because you fucking idiots thought that this was Hill Street Blues of a time way back when during Barney Miller and we are not in that time period at all. American citizens have the right to handle their own medical situations and their own lawful situations and their own marriage situations without you fucking morons getting into it. Most of you boys came out of wrestling days and what we could say about you based on statistics is that you're rapists. Because most of the rapists are apparently coming out of wrestlers world. So we've got something to teach our boys about. But what we do know about the children on campus is that in general they ignore the homeless and on the one hand that is probably a good idea. On the other hand, it is a foolish idea because the people who are the townies in our community don't ignore them and neither do the international citizens. I want you to reflect on why a fucking international Chinese girl would be so kind to a panhandler that sits outside a Target. The most likelihood is to create that trusting relationship so at some point he'll walk off with her and then we don't have him anymore, but what we do have is a little girl or a little boy from a foreign country with a new name on them. Does that make sense, motherfuckers? Are you that stupid about American citizenship? So the next fucking time you think you're going to roll on a man who you've been pissing on, I want you to pay attention to the fact that he is so well online that when you fucked him out of his social media, the people that were about to employ him were pretty pissed off at that time. And when you kept fucking his rights when he was in the middle of the election, when he was downtown our city, you fucked yourself in front of the FBI. And I promise you that when a young man starts to take an interest in a beautiful woman who's written a book, who's worked forever in the Secret Service, I can guarantee that someone up high put her shit in front of him. Because not only is he a marketing strategist, but he's also worked in languages, so don't you fucking think that his brain isn't smart enough to know all the players and all the networks and see it all. He may not be working for them at this time, but he is definitely being observed at this time. And I promise you that as much of a great statesman as our current president is, he is still old school like me, but he's dumber than a fucking idiot because he supported a president that most of us know wasn't here lawful. But he is now the motherfucking president, and we also know that he's a shitbag Catholic. So most likely his pillow talk with his wife has fucked him out of any kind of right to do the right thing all the time for everyone. Because a wife can influence a president, and you know that. It's usually why they give her little details to run off and do so she stays out of the fucking White House. You better pay attention to the fact that we have two issues going on. We have an old white gentleman who is now president and not Trump getting accolades around the world for his, not arrogance, but his use of humility. 
at the same time he has a white not at all he has what most people co would have considered mulatto vice president both of them are lawyers there's a reason that they became the current administration but let's us remind you for little fuckers that it's a job just like yours so when you get that that it's a job you have two rights in this company to do your job according to the laws and ordinances of our city and our American nation and our World Treaty Organization as America Inc. Or, and and you can go off in your free time in theory and participate in the political marketplace of trying to replace what you may not like in that employment situation at the White House. Other than that, you do your fucking jobs and keep your own arrogance and attitudes about a person's private loins to your fucking self because at no fucking time did that young man ever give you the right to take a look at his parts. And at no fucking time do we allow any fucking citizen, male or female, or otherwise touch a man in the night. And at no fucking time do I authorize you to walk into somebody's tent and check to see if someone's alright and then put your hands on them and then trim their beard because you think it's a funny hazing incident for your crime. Do not fucking touch him again because we will take every fucking black bitch and black satanist man who is probably black by color and take them to the jails in which they deserve to be in because they thought their religion, their old time religion, their old slave religion was okay to enslave a white man here. In America we have rights and we do not allow international citizens to turn American men or women into playthings. And we have to be aware of who is who and what is what and what is legal in America. And those students sign into a policy that says they will not do anything illegal or immoral while they're here. So get with the fucking program. If you have rights to go on campus for your pattern of driving that fucking vehicle that our city owns, pay the fuck attention. Once again, this is not a television show of Hill Street Blues where we're teaching moral compasses. This is not Barney Miller. This is not MASH. This is not your own little fucking world. You represent our mayor who is liable to the president of America. And the president of America just fucking protected every fucking person in the military. So don't you forget that. But don't you presume that a Muslim didn't cut that man's dick off and play a game with him in a way that it didn't matter to you, but it sure as hell matters to him, his wife, his child, his grandchildren. So don't you fucking play here. And any fucking bitch you took him to at a hospital because you thought you'd teach a lesson on what fraud? We don't fucking put our dicks out in the middle of the campus and we don't fucking put anything else out publicly like this is a nudist colony, so get the fuck off him. 